Yo, what's good, y'all? This is Catchy on Yannicka, and it is raining outside, y'all. It's wet outside. But in case y'all didn't know, I just got on the news. CBS, Philly, Eyewitness News for basically, they were doing a survey for, you know, what do you think leads to a long-lasting, healthy life? So I put my two cents, you know, the reporter was Nicole Brewer. And afterwards, the cool part is I got to play saxophone for her Facebook Live. So, and it's still up, so y'all definitely want to check that out. But honestly, just looking back at the video, <laughs> I didn't realize how funny my reaction was. Like, I didn't, I didn't intend for it to be funny or anything, you know, I was just answering the questions, but like, just let me know what you think in the comment section about it. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so uh, make sure to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media, links will be down below in the description, and I'll also leave an end slide at the end of this video. Alright y'all, here's a video. So what are the keys to living a long life? Right away, you probably think healthy diet, mm -hmm. regular exercise. But a new study turns conventional thinking upside down, and Nicole Brewer is here to explain that. Nicole. That's right. You know, so often we toast to life, mm -hmm. right? Um, we'll get ready to order another round, because new research says a little bubbly does a body good. Many have searched for the secret to longevity. Exercise and being healthy. Just overall happiness. A well-rounded life, I would say. Or should we say secrets? New research found many factors extend your life, but would you believe booze beats exercise? That's crazy. Scientists at the University of California found two glasses of wine or beer reduced your risk of premature death by 18%, compared to just 11% for daily exercise. I'm a little bit surprised by that, but it makes me feel pretty good about my lifestyle right now, so. <laughs> then I should have a longer life along with him. <laughs> the same study found coffee can help your cause as well. With two cups a day, cutting your risk by 10%. Wow. Thin may be in, except in your 70s, when science says being overweight is actually better. When you have more fat, your body's able to break that down, creating sugars, and feeds off that energy. That um, sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. So what's the most effective way to extend your life? Less stress? I would say self-love and self-happiness. A good love life. How about a hobby? Just two hours a day of doing what you love dropped your death risk by a whopping 21%. So go ahead, get living. I think I need to take some more time off work. More drinking, you know, <laughs> less exercise. <laughs> <laughs> so let me be clear, uh, this study says drinking in moderation can help extend your life. Heavy drinking, on the other hand, has been linked to high blood pressure, even cancer. So yeah, two glasses a day, that, that would be moderately, yes. the, the sweet spot. Okay, yeah. very interesting.